And this morning, we're learning more details about Sunday's wrong way crash in West Haven, right on 95, which killed four people and sent two people to the hospital with serious injuries. This all happened on the southbound side, again, of 95, right between exits 41 and 42 in Channel 3. Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is live in that area this morning. She joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, Kate and Nicole. Well, you kind of get a pit in your stomach when you think about the fact that this is the third deadly wrong way driving crash that we've had just since the beginning of this year. And it's really something that the Department of Transportation has been focusing on. Now, take a look at this footage. This is the aftermath of the early morning crash, a tow truck taking away one of the three cars involved. State police say that a pickup truck was heading northbound on I-95 South around 125 Sunday morning when it crashed into a Nissan Altima in the left lane. The pickup truck then ended up in the middle lane, crashing into another car, a Nissan Sentra. The impact killed the wrong way driver as well as three people in the Altima. The two people traveling in the Sentra are now fighting for their lives. While the investigation is ongoing into exactly what happened in this weekend's crash, it serves as a sobering wake up call that now seven lives have been claimed in total in the state of Connecticut due to wrong way drivers so far this year. The Connecticut DOT has been in the process of installing installing new technology on the state's most dangerous off ramps. It works by activating flashing lights and alerting state police when the system detects a wrong way driver. The DOT says that they'll keep doing everything they can to make sure this doesn't happen again. There are 27 ramps in Connecticut that have the wrong way detection uh, technology installed. Uh, that number will be over 100 by the end of 2024. Now, police have not yet publicly identified the people involved in the crash this weekend. As soon as we get any more information, we'll bring that to you. But for now, that's the latest. Reporting live in West Haven, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. Thanks, Marcy. Also